again. So make sure you go basic position again. Sit low, weight transfer. Important. Three, three and over. You'll see that it's getting too short. From behind, getting under it. And you can lean in the right, and you really can let yourself fall to the left. Yeah? You want to do the first one? Okay. You can start. Like with this, I get a little bit feeling back how they have to skate. And then uh, you can start with the other top. Okay. groups here, a couple of groups there. There you make your circle. Yeah? So the middle is just free that the stuff can stay here. So make sure that the person is leaning, have to keep hold the person. That's important. And the person you're doing it is just slow motion. So go through the motion all the way. When you place it, directly have pressure on it. If you don't have pressure on it, you will see you go back to the board. If you place it too far, you will go back to the board because you can't lean. So it has to be the good motion and where to place it is really important. You have to feel that. Yeah? Just give it a try. I want to see what happens. So 10 crossovers and then switch. So just easy. No speed.
Too slow, you can lean it off. That's that's true. I think when we just make three groups, we spread it out a little bit more. 
So we do around three laps. When the group one is finished, group two is going. Stay low on your left. Don't push yourself up. Keep your hip in there. Hip to the ice. That's better. Just uh, told Anya because she took quite uh, the back is quite flat. Yep. So I said I said at home you can practice it when you're on your hands and knees, like hollow it. Mm -hmm. and then Bring it up all the way. So mm -hmm. We'll try to get it so high as possible. So you can practice it because she said, yeah, she, she feel that her, her muscles yes. like maybe a little bit too short or something for that. Okay. Okay, group one, go with the hand on the ice. A little bit more lean. Get on top. Take your time. over again and again I'm so scared Over and over again and again Of these monsters Over and over again and again I'm so scared Will we ever see the end? This is Monsters Over and over You need to wait here and you're in places just because you fall So I can have it more than you that you do at least three times just for yourself like a corner excel and yeah, that you warmed up a bit because you're gonna do some starts yeah so we start uh, if the track is out then you can just start on your own the way you want a corner excel only the corner and then you're done yeah, yeah. You just have to be uh, a position what you are uh, feel comfortable yeah, and stable. 
because you, you're not allowed to move. So some people just go in really deep, some people just have like this. It's also personal. Like if you're quite quick of your legs and have a good strength and you get from position like here and you can react quick, maybe then you can sit a little bit lower. But if you go all the way this, you have to go that way. So why are you looking down? You have to look that way. So make sure always that you can have a look to the front and not to the arch. This arm, you see a lot of people, just the arm is really far behind. But when your reaction is there, this takes longer, is it in front, the arm is here. It's much quicker. And it has to be a reaction as well. So if your arm is short in this position and the abs is there, you have a quick reaction from this with the hip. And the only thing I have to do is that you have to do this. That's all. Because the first step is important from a reaction and the rest will follow. Yeah? Get it a bit. Just try to get some, <coughs> just for yourself, to have a comfortable start position and do a few steps. Not directly 100%, but that you have to be comfortable. Because make sure that you have to place it like this, no grip. So you make sure that it has to be your knee and a little bit go in. But now I have pressure. Now I can push to it. If it's here, nothing. Yeah? It's just small things, but they're important. Just give it a try. Yeah? I will just look around first. yourself a little bit more time. If you're just gonna stand, go in and go. Did you stand still? No. If you start waiting longer, yes. So make sure that you're gonna stand. If you go in, really stand still, like at least maybe for yourself for two seconds, because the starter probably waits two seconds. Huh? It's not like you can go in, you can go. No, you already have to stand still, and then you can go. That's a reaction. So later on, we're always practicing with a command. It's always somebody saying like, okay, go to the start, ready, let's stand still, and then go. Then you practice directly your direction as well. That's important. A couple of them are still the back feet, they're slipping a bit. Yeah? And I hear a lot of... What does that mean? timing if you hear do you you know all, everybody know cats and when they sprint and when, when they run do you hear them like an elephant no why not they're smooth yeah they just place the feet and then push so basically you're already pushing when you're, you still have air. And that's why you hear this. So that's loud. Yeah? If you just tap on it and then push, then the timing is perfect. Of course, with, with material and eyes, you always hear some noise, 
which can be a lot more quiet instead of if you hear long track it's unbelievable so much noise but it just means that you already hear and start to push and there is nothing to push so that's why it's so much noise it has to be more smooth yeah and take your time with the start it's not a it's not a sprint, it, it, it's a sprint, but take your time. Yeah? It's not that you have to count down, okay, you have to do so many starts. Just take your time. Practice again. Versions is for weight. How much weight we put in the back feet and how much weight we put in the front. What percent is? Is it 30, 70? What is, where is 30? Where is 70? The front is? 70. Huh? That's about right. I always say around 40, 60. Yeah? 60 to the front, 40 to the back, but not quite close. Because why is that? You always have to, you always have a little bit more pressure in the front. Because you still have pressure there, but reaction can be this. That's what they need. So it's all the back, all the weight is on the back, you have to go forward. So if you lean already more forward, you already start to can already fall. You just have to lift it up and I'm falling. And that's why the, the percentages of the front leg get more weight. So that's correct. Yeah? Okay. I just want to see it more individually. So with the reaction, <coughs> if you go first, I will... <coughs> one by one. One by one. Okay. I will say it. Go to the top. Ready? Go! Go to the start. Ready? Go! Go to the start. Ready? Stand still, eh? Ready? Move it. Okay, go to the start. Ready? Go! Go to start. Ready? Go! Go to start. Ready? Go! Ready? 
down uh, and you, because you're standing like this, isn't it? You go a bit like down like that. Yeah? So you go down like this. You don't, you, you're not that quick out of it. So you have to find another way to get out of that. Because you still have like this, but the first step is, if I do this, it's my, my, my weight actually is here and not to the front. I don't know, you feel that as well or not? To the front or not? A little bit. So you see that your first reaction is slow. I think when you get a little bit more lean forwards, your first reaction can be better. And you, start, you have to change your start position. So if you come here, yeah. <coughs> all the way go to that one because you're standing here go again yeah this is a more forward make sure your back feet is there do yeah. one more forward but then you directly go that direction when you did the start before you fear the first reaction is turn to the right position. That's the first reaction. So then you already step behind the people next to you. Yeah? It's important as well. <coughs> you doing one? Ready? Go! <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Thing in this week, give a lot of tips we can work on. So you keep, you have to keep repeat it every time. Even in dry land, yeah, this kind of start you can practice in dry land. Reaction you can track practice on dry land. Yeah, you can practice to each other. Just give them command. You have to stand still and then go. All those small things you don't always have to do it on ice. You just can pre keep it. We always do it around two times. Just on dry land, also for as a warm up. Just keep practicing. Yeah? So hopefully uh, you learn a lot. For so for next time, uh, maybe you have some more questions. How to do this, how to do that. So I think after ice, we're uh, going to do some sharpening. Yeah? To practice. To see if we uh, can make that better as well. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you hopefully next time then. Yeah?